Hey everyone, it's Alicia. So today I'm here to do a review on my MAC Mineralized SPF 15 foundation in the shade NC50. I already applied it. It's what I'm wearing today on my face. And I set it with my Black Radiance Press Powder in the shade Ebony. So I already have a good uh, impression on this foundation because of the fact that I've had it since before Christmas and it's now April. So, yeah, I decided to just insert a clip of a demo while I'm talking about this just to make the video a whole lot smoother and easier. So, if you see me looking down, I'm going to be looking at my notes that I wrote down on this notebook. So, first off, when you first apply it, like when you first get it, you first apply it, it feels wet. Like, it just feels wet. And I was so confused because it gave me, like, I just look extra dewy. It was more dewy than I wanted to look. But once you set in and stuff like that and you start to blend it all out and you get used to the foundation, then it's like, oh, okay, this is how it works. When I use my, when I use the water-based primer, I could feel it on my face and it would uh, cling to the dry patches around my mouth and stuff like that. When I use the water-based primer and the water-based primer that I used was the NC, NYC Smooth Skin uh primer and 684 which is basically for everybody so when i use that it is so off the dry patches around my mouth i could feel it a little bit on my cheeks so it kind of got annoying throughout the day but when i switched to my primer and the primer that i use is the elf mineral infused primer which is a silicone based one and i will recommend that you use that one if you have if you use this foundation or use whatever primer works best for you. But if that primer doesn't work, then I would suggest that you try out this e.l.f. Mineral Infused Primer, which is only $6. So it's not really a big, you know, price to spend on a primer. And if you like it, then it's not a waste of money. So when I started using the e.l.f. Primer, which is a silicone based primer, it gave me a flawless face throughout the day. And it didn't show off the dry patches on my skin anymore. And so it went, the foundation, it went on very smoothly. Like it just went on effortlessly. It didn't really take me that much time to blend it out unless I, unless it was something that I did wrong. So I would recommend that you use the silicone based primer. I would say that this is for dry skin only because of the fact that it gives off a dewy finish. And if you're oily, then why would you want to use a um, dewy finish foundation? I mean, you could use a dewy finish foundation, but of course, make sure you set your face right and stuff like that. So, yeah, this is for dry skin, in my opinion. This retails for $35, by the way. It gives a medium to full coverage, so you can build it up to a full coverage. Or you can even sheer it out with your beauty blender and get a light coverage. So you can get every type of coverage with this foundation. As you can see, I have a medium. I would say that I have a medium to full coverage today. Or which is every day because I always, whenever I do apply my makeup, I do look like this. Like, you know, with the finish wise, I look like this. This comes in 16 shades, so I will say that it is good for women of color, especially since I'm a NC50, as you can see from right here and all over my face. I'm an NC50, and I think that's the dark that is the darkest shade available for the NCs, and I know they have an NW50, but of course there's other MAC foundations that have deeper shades, so that's not really a big issue because they do have other shades that are deeper than NC50 and other foundations. But if you wanted this foundation specifically, then that would be good. So I will say that they do need to get the darker shades from the other foundations into this foundation. I do like the packaging. It is like a frosted packaging. It's a, a hourglass shade bottle, I would say. I don't know how, I'm not good at describing stuff. So just excuse my descriptions. But I will say that it's, is a good price for a MAC foundation. It's good. It's a good price for a high-end foundation because of the fact that foundations are just getting more expensive day by day. And anybody got no money for that. And anybody got no time for that. So with MAC foundations, people say that it breaks them out. I've never experienced any breakouts with their foundation. Um, 
like I said, I've been using this since December and I have never experienced a breakout with their foundation at all. This foundation does transfer, but it doesn't alter like the look of the foundation to me, in my opinion. So it doesn't alter the look of the foundation, but it does transfer. So if you had, so, cause whenever I would blot throughout the day at school, I would get transfer from all over my face, but my face would still look the same as before I blotted. This foundation lasts me throughout the school day. So I get to school at like 7 o'clock, 7, 10, and I get home by 3.30, 3.40 some days. So it does last me a long time. So it lasts, I would say that it lasts about 6 to 9 hours. Uh, it depends on how you treat the foundation. Of course, like my experience is going to be different from everybody else's, but... Yeah, this foundation, in my opinion, does last from six to eight and a half to nine hours. You would have to set your face, even if you are dry skin, just to be on the safe side. Like, that's what I would do. Just set your face just to get it out of the way, okay? Uh, unless you really do want that dewy finish, then just don't. Or set your face and then use a makeup mist like uh, the e.l.f. makeup mist is said, which I do use. Uh, to give myself, you know, not a matte face, just not a powdery looking face, a normal looking face, if you catch what I mean. So now since I've used this silicone based primer, my face feels normal, my face feels the same. Nothing, it like, I don't feel like I have on foundation today. So that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, I leave the link to where you can get this foundation down below i'll see if ebates has a mac cosmetics uh percentage back that you could get and yeah so i'll talk to you guys next time bye